Good morning, class. Good morning. Okay, so you guys have been reading the very exciting book by Haddix called Among the Betrayed. You guys just finished reading it. Uh, who liked the story? Me. That's good. I liked it too. I was here listening to it. I was very into it. It was exciting. I, I saw you guys really into the book. Uh, I know Miss Delgado didn't really like the ending. I know that a lot of you did. It's a good thing that book is a series so that you guys can read more about it. Um, but today, Miss Delgado had asked me to go ahead and review with you guys plot, the literary device of plot. Does anybody know what plot is? It's what happens in a story. Very well said. All the plot is, is is just the scenes and the actions that make up a story. And the interesting thing about plots is that you can find them in almost every story. So no matter what genre, um, who likes movies? Me, me, me. <laughs> That's good. I like movies too. What are some of your favorite movie types? Fantasy. Fantasy. I like fantasy too. I like Harry Potter. Um, so yeah, um, there's fantasy, there's romance, there's sci-fi. No, pretty much no matter what genre you like, um, it's pretty much going to follow a plot. So you guys, are you guys familiar with this? Yes. Oh, that's really good to hear. Uh, what is this? It's Freytag's Pyramid. Wow, yeah, it is. It's Freytag's Pyramid. It's his plot <laughs> diagram. Um, so this is the plot diagram. And this plot diagram was invented by a man, a German author named Freytag. And he, Gustav Freytag, and he had noticed that most of the stories that he had read had followed a certain pattern or shape. Um, so he came up with this. And he found that most stories followed this same pattern. So what we're going to go ahead and do today is, for your book, you're going to create the same diagram. But we're just going to review exactly what goes in this diagram and what you're going to need to connect to your novel. For example, we are going to use the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Is everyone familiar with the story Little Red Riding Hood? Yes. That's good. Yeah, me too. Um, so we start with the very start of the pyramid. What is the first point of the pyramid called? Does anybody know? Exposition. Wow, oh, yes. It's called the exposition. And the exposition is the beginning of the story. Uh, this is where uh, everything starts. So what do you think goes in an introduction and an exposition? Characters, setting. Yes, something like the characters, the setting, it's the introduction. So in the story of Little Red Riding Hood, what do you think uh, the exposition would be? When she builds a basket to visit her grandma. Very good. So you have Little Red Riding Hood, she's in the woods, and we know that she's building a basket to visit Granny and her sick Granny. Now, the next point in the story, does anybody know what this is called? That's okay, that's what we're here for. We're here to learn. Uh, this next point, it's called the inciting incident. Does anybody know what the inciting incident would be? It's the turning point in a story. Very good. So the inciting incident is, as you said, the turning point in a story, it's sort of where we are introduced to a conflict. Um, so what do you think this would be in the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Where she meets the wolf. Yes, exactly, because she's all Mary Lee Daw until she comes and she meets the wolf. That's kind of scary. Um, so that's kind of a sign that something isn't gonna happen. Does anybody know what the next point of this pyramid is called? The rising action. Yes, that's right. It's called the rising action. And just like the pyramid suggests, it's where uh, we rise 
in the story and it's, it's you know reaching the highest point and um, now this takes a while because we're building up to the top it's like when you guys are riding a roller coaster you go really slow up the top because they want you to build the anticipation um so what would the rising action be in the story of little red riding hood okay uh, well, the rising action would be, you know, after she, she has her interaction with the wolf and everything, um, he goes and she continues on her way. And then this is where, you know, the wolf meets the grandma, so it, it's getting good. Like, what's going to happen? And now we finally reached the, what, at the, the very top? Climax. Very good. You guys are just like Einstein. And what is the climax? It's the most exciting part of a story. Yes, it is the most exciting part of the story. It's like when you're at the roller coaster and you're very at the top, the very top of the rattler, right before it goes over, and you're just waiting, waiting. Yeah. You're so excited you might have a heart attack. Um, so what do you think the climax of this story of Little Red Riding Hood would be? Whenever she's speaking to the wolf and she discovers that it's not her grandma. That's really good. Uh, I would say that it's a little bit before then though. It's where the, where the wolf comes and he takes the grandma's clothes and now he's posing as the, posing as the grandmother. Um, so yeah, I would say that's about where it gets really exciting because you don't know exactly what's going to happen. What comes after the climax? The falling action. Right, the falling action. And what would the falling action be? Before the resolution. Right, before the resolution. So we've already, he's already there posing as the grandmother and now all of these things start to happen and, and we start to come to a resolution. What is the resolution to the story of Little Red Riding Hood? The huntsman comes. Right, the huntsman comes and he saves the day. He scares away the wolf. And finally, what do we have at the very end? Conclusion. That is correct. The conclusion and what does the conclusion do? It completes the story. Correct. It you know ties up any loose ends and it completes the story. The end of the little red riding hood, what happens? She finds her grandma and you know they live happily ever after. So it's a happy ending to the story of Little Red Riding Hood. And that's it, you guys. It's, it's only seven points on your on your diagram. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven points. So all you guys need to do then is go ahead and find those points within your novel. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and be grouping you guys up. You guys are going to draw a diagram and you are going to connect it to among the betrayed. Does anybody have any questions? No. Okay, great. Well, if those are all your questions, then we are going to get busy. I'm going to be dividing you into your groups.